Hello students, welcome back to Mature Technologies video. I am your English teacher Tanuja Sharma and today we are going to start with a new topic in the chapter number 8, tenses, past tense. We are going to start with past tense. In the previous session, we have already done present tense. Today, we are going to start with past tense. Now, children, about present tense, I told you the time which is now, right? The time which is now. Here, if we come to this side, we are coming to past. If we go into this side, we are going to future. Something which is happening at the past. Alright, something when we talk about something which has already happened in the past. Now means present. This side, it is past. Alright, now past tense that means something which has happened in your past. The time which has gone. We are talking about that time. Now children, this tense is also divided into four parts. And what are those four parts? Let us see. The first part is simple present, simple past, simple past. The second part is past continuous, past continuous. The third part is past perfect. And the fourth part is past perfect continuous. Alright, so these four parts we are going to study today. Let us talk about first simple past. Simple past simply tells you work which has been already done. The work which has already been done in the past. Alright. Now, simple past is also talk about the simple works which are done in the past. For example, if I tell you your likings, you know, I liked cold coffee. I liked cold coffee till my till my teenage. I liked cold coffee till my teenage. That means after teenage, I didn't I like something. I I like something else now. Alright. Till my teenage, I liked I liked cold coffee. Now by looking at this sentence, you must have noticed that the verb formed change in this sentence. The verb form has been changed in this sentence. The now we are doing, now we are using verb second form in simple past. Alright, we are using verb second form in simple past. Got my point? Now, simple past one thing you need to 
understand is that we can use simple past for the work which has just completed or the work which has completed a time a long back for example i finished my homework yesterday i finished my homework yesterday all right i lived in new york new york a long time back or a long time ago now here we are talking about a recent past the job which has completed in recent past and here we are talking about the job which has completed in distant past so simple past can be used for recent past also and distant past also now children let us see the formula for simple past and what is the formula for simple past subject plus verb in second form plus object that's it this is the formula for simple past subject verb in second form plus object just take a simple example i eat pizza i eat pizza now this is a simple present tense formula this is a simple present tense sentence what eat is the verb second form what will be the second form for eat eat so let us take the let us con convert this example into simple past i ate pizza i hope you understood this now let us see the interrogative sentence of this did subject verb in first form now when we are using the interrogative sentence when we are converting simple past uh, sentences into an interrogative uh, sentences when we are changing them then did will be used in its second form do does changes to did and verbs form remains the same all right did plus subject plus verb first form plus object just change this sentence into an interrogative one did i eat pizza i hope am i clear i am clear to you did i eat pizza all right now this will be the interrogative sentence now let us uh, let us see the negative sentence of this i did not eat pizza so what will be the formula subject plus did plus not plus verb first form plus object change the sentence i did not eat pizza this will be the negative form of simple past tense now let us continue with 
past continuous when we are talking about continuous tense that means we are talking about the work in continuation all right now we are talking about the past time we are talking about the time which has gone all right when by when i talk about past continuous that means i am telling you the work which was going on in the past which was in continuation in the past but now it is not in continuation i was teaching present tense to you that means in the past at some time the this work was in continuation but now it has come to an end end present in presently it is not going on but at some point in at some point in the past this work was in continuation all right i hope you have understood the meaning right i have also given you the example now let us see the formula for present uh, sorry past continuous subject plus was were plus verb plus ing plus object this is the formula for past continuous i eat pizza we are going to take we are going to take this example only i with i we are going to use was or were was i was verb first form eating eat plus ing eating i was eating pizza i was eating pizza i hope i am clear to you i was eating pizza that means this eating job i was doing in the past now i am not doing this clear now interrogative form of this sentence was were plus subject plus verb plus ing plus object very easy just change the was i eating pizza was i eating pizza was i eating pizza i don't know maybe you were eating pizza right now interrogative form of this tense sorry a uh, negative form subject plus was were plus not plus verb plus ing plus object i was not eating pizza clear am i clear to you i was not eating pizza i was not doing this work at all i hope past continuous tense is clear to you all now let us see past perfect tense now past perfect tense means for it is used for an action taking place before a certain time in the past the action which was taking place a long time back the work which has already been completed the work is complete i told you in perfect tenses we include the work which are 
complete, the jobs which are complete. Now the difference between past perfect and present perfect. In present perfect we include the work which have which are complete which are completed in the recent past recently they have completed recently they have been completed in the past perfect we include the job which were completed a long time back all right just see over here present perfect to show an action that has just happened just happened Perf past perfect for an action taking place before a certain time in the past all right before a certain time in the past for example i had just shut the door when the doorbell rang at the time when the doorbell rang in the past at that time only i just shut the door all right now let us see the formula for past perfect tense what is the formula for past perfect tense subject plus had plus verb in the third form plus object this is the formula for past perfect tense now let us see the uh, example for this just change this sentence only into uh, the past perfect i had eaten pizza i had eaten pizza before you finished before you finished your sandwich that means at a point before you could complete your work i already completed my job all right so past perfect tells you at what time you completed your work past perfect allows us to tell at what time in the past we completed the job a perfect time all right now what will be the interrogative form of this the interrogative form for this will be had plus subject plus verb first third form plus object just change this sentence into an interrogative form only had i complete eaten had i eaten pizza this uh the rest of the sentence remains same had i eaten pizza before you finished your sandwich this will be the interrogative form now let us see the negative form now negative form will be just add an not all right subject plus had plus not plus object we are going to take the same example subject plus had plus not plus object we are going to take same example i had not eaten 
pizza before you finished your sandwich all right i hope past perfect is clear to you the work which is done before a job has been completed a task has been completed all right that means by this tense we can know at what time the task was completed now let us continue with past perfect continuous now past perfect continuous tells you about a job which was in continuation at till the time another job started all right the work which was in continuation in the past the work which was continuation in the past and stopped because of something else has happened all right in past perfect what we were doing at some point at some point the work was complete before another job could started all right here the work in the past was in continuation was in continuation and after and stopped in between and some other job started all right now let us see the formula for past perfect continuous subject plus had plus been plus verb plus ing plus object all right just see that i had been eating pizza before before i before i before you arrived before you arrived that means before you arrived at my at my place what i was doing i had been eating pizza at that point but now i am not doing that all right then just see the interrogative sentence of this uh, past perfect continuous had plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus object had i been eating pizza had i been eating pizza before you arrived all right and it is an interrogative sentence i hope this is clear to you now let us look at the negative sentence of past perfect tense subject plus had plus not plus been plus verb plus ing plus object 
change this sentence only. I had not been eating pizza before you arrived. I hope this is clear to you. Now let us have a recap of all the four sentences together. Simple past, when we are talking about a job which has been done in past, when it was done, we do not know. Maybe it is a recent past or maybe a long time back. Maybe only a single job has been done or maybe many jobs has been done that also we do not know. All right. For example, uh, if I say I have uh, you know I ate pizza, I ate pizza, they ordered, they also ordered pizza and watched movie. Now three jobs has been done, I was also eat, uh, I also ate pizza, they also ordered pizza and they also watched a movie or simply I ate pizza, right. I also gave you in another example, I ate pizza yesterday, I ate pizza last week. So we do not know when, last week a long time back, right and yesterday recent past. So simple past can be used for recent past also, simple past can be used for recent past also or, or for a time in very past, you know, a long time back. Past continuous, past continuous talks about a job which was in continuation in the past at some time, but now it is not in continuation, the job has been completed. Then past perfect, past perfect tense tells you about a work which was in continuous, which was uh, which has been done, which has been completed and before another job started, alright. Past perfect continuous tells you the work which was in continuation in the past till another job started, alright. I hope you have understood all the four exercises, revise them very carefully and revise all the formula, all the syntax we have understood, we have done today. Thank you and have a nice day.